I'm gonna be installing those uh, Schaller strap locks. These are the new model. I've never put them on a guitar before. So I'm gonna take you to the process of doing this. Here you can see the original strap buttons and screws that I'm gonna be replacing with the brand new model Schaller locking over here. I'm gonna show you some things that you should consider when installing Schaller locks. First of all, the original screw is long and really thick, like this. And on the older models of shutter locks, you had this really thin short screw that was separate from the button. But with the new model of shutter locks, this seems to be improved in a way, because you can see the screw is now thicker and a bit longer, comparing it to the original Gibson ones. Still quite shorter, but the same thickness and it will work. You don't need to put toothpicks in the hole anymore. <laughs> One more important thing, the screw now is integrated, it's a mold. The button and screw are molded together, unlike the old model. You can see there is no separation here. I'm not sure if it's better structurally, it will hold more, but I have a small issue with that because you see with the older models, you can take out the screw and you can use the original screws from some of the guitars and I used to do that with Schecter guitars and other. You don't have that option with the new model since it is molded together with the screw. And I can honestly see this being a problem with some of the Gibson models because the back button has this big screw and the front one sometimes has the small screw. And if you use this big one on the back it's okay but if you try to use it on the front you might end up putting some stress on the paint and crack it. Another difference is that the older model Schaller used this uh, Philip head screws, while the new one is uh, mounted by this Allen wrench, which is 3mm thick, and it's not included. On the plus side, it's much easier to install them with the Allen wrench, and they seem to be a perfect fit for the Gibson Custom. And to be absolutely thorough, I wanted to check out if the old uh, locks fit in the new buttons and indeed they do. And one more thing that the new model got right. I used to hate on the older model that this tip comes off anytime you try to remove your strap and you risk losing the spring on this uh, bolt over here <laughs> as I just did. So the new strap lock seems to fix this problem. It's not on a round thread over here and it's locked on the top. With the new model we no longer have separate nut and washer. The nut doubles down as a washer and you tighten it using those two holes. You see I've put an Allen wrench through them and it's really easy. You can even do it by hand pretty easy. I like this new feature. And when you're done tightening it, you can lock it in place by this small screw over here. Screwdriver adjustable. And here it is, this is how the lock looks installed on your guitar and strap. It's a bit bulkier than the old one, a bit higher, you should consider that, but overall does a good job and I like the improvements. I hope this video helps you choose the proper strap locks for you and your guitar. Come on now, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more guitar tips like this. I'll be seeing you.